So the digital mind, uh, so I think that there's many different ways you can think about the digital mind. Uh, I think if we digitise and we automate what we currently have, um, then you know, we'll see a lot more transparency, a lot more predictive um, analytics and predictive um, behaviours in our minds, uh, people doing more things with data. Um, you'll see autonomous trucks, autonomous shovels, autonomous equipment. Um, you'll see, uh, I think, people using um, iPads, tablets, etc., in the mine and around the mine. Um, but I think that if we, if we imagine it a little bit more and then we start going, well, if we automate um, and if we have people not operating machinery, um, and especially if we then want to electrify, we can start imagining a world where the equipment becomes smaller, the tunnels become smaller, we require less ventilation, we don't need so much uh, ground control. We can start cutting, we can start continuously moving material. Um, so I think that's when it becomes really exciting. And then we apply um, artificial intelligence where it's not just about predictive, but it's also about augmenting the decisions that people make. We can run multiple scenarios, we can use gamification. Um, that's where it becomes really, really interesting. And not only to be part of it, but potentially even to work in that sort of situation. Yeah, so look, I think um, autonomous technology will be fundamentally part of the mine of the future. Um, I think that's one of the reasons why it's one of those areas that as mining companies we should really collaborate and work together. Um, not only to have a consistent voice and a consistent uh, message to suppliers around what is it we want um, and, and how do we want that technology to work within our business. Um, but also because I think, you know, just like Moore's Law, once we have that technology, we've mastered swarm technology, we've automated, we've, we've created robotics, um, then I think a lot of that drives towards zero, drives towards Moore's Law. And it, it won't be a competitive advantage, it will be a stay in business, um, you know, element of mining. Um, so there will, then there'll be other things that we can start doing and thinking about, um, such as nano-sizing processing plants, having processing plants now, um, you know, underground or as part of that autonomous solution. Um, so I, I'm actually very excited about uh, not only automation but also robotics um, and how that can really transform mining into the future.